I Wish That I Had Duck Feet by Theo Lissig, illustrated by B. Toby. Theo Lissig is another name for Dr. Seuss. And this book has been around a little bit, so I'll try not to let it fall apart while we're reading. I wish that I had duck feet, and I can tell you why. You can splash around in duck feet. You don't have to keep them dry. Looks like fun. I wish that I had duck feet. No more shoes. No shoes for me. The man down at the shoe store would not have my size, you see. If I had two duck feet, I could laugh at Big Bill Brown. I would say, you don't have duck feet. These are all there are in town. Do you think it'd be fun to have duck feet? I think it would be very good to have them when I play. Only kids with duck feet on can ever play this way. Look at him in the pond. Doesn't that look like fun? Do the other kids look jealous? I think so. But my mother would not like them. She would say, get off my floor. She would say, take your duck feet and you take them out that door. Don't ever come in here again with duck feet on. Now don't, so I guess I can't have duck feet. I would like to, but I won't. See, he made some puddles on the floor. Not a good thing. So if I, I can't have duck feet, I'll have something else instead. Say, I know what, I wish I had two horns upon my head. I wish I had two deer horns. They would be a lot of fun. Then I could wear 10 hats up there. Big Bill can just wear one. Check out all those cool hats. I think they would be very good to have when I play ball. Then no one, nobody could stop me. No, sir. Nobody at all. Looks like he's playing football, huh? My horns could carry books and stuff like papers, pens, and strings, and apples for my teacher, and lots, a lot of other things. He does have a lot of things on there. I think that would get kind of heavy. But if I had big deer horns, I would never get a ride. I could never ride the school bus. I could never get inside. I wonder if he would fit if he turned sideways. Hmm. And so I won't have deer horns. I'll have something else instead. I wish I had a whale spout, a whale spout on my head. That looks like great fun on a hot day. When days get hot, it would be good to spout my spout in school. And then Miss Banks would say, thanks, thanks. You keep our school so cool. I wouldn't like to be the person in the seat behind him, though, because their papers would get all wet. I could play all day in summer. I would never feel the heat. I would beat Big Bill at tennis. I would play him off his feet. That would be handy for that, though. Do you think his mom is going to like this one either, though? But my mother would not like it. I know just what she would say. Not in the house. You shut that off. You take that spout away. I know that she would tell me I don't want that spout about. And when mother does not want a thing, it's O-U-T. It's out. How did I know that the mother would like that? Probably because I'm a mother. And so... I will not have one. I do not wish to be a whale. I think it would be better if I had a long, long tail. That is a long tail. I wish I had a long, long tail. Someday I will, I hope, 
and then I'll show the kids in town new ways to jump a rope. That would be handy. You'd always have a jump rope when you needed one. If I had a long, long tail, I know what I would like. I would like to ride down State Street pulling girls behind my bike. When they're on their roller skates, that does look kind of fun. I wish I had a long, long tail, and I can tell you why. I could hit a fly 10 feet away and hit him in the eye. I know Miss Banks would like this. She would smile and she would say, no other boy in town can hit a fly so far away. But if I had a long, long tail, I know that Big Bill Brown would tie me in a tree. He would. Then how would I get down? I don't think that I would like it with my tail tied in a tree. The more I think about it, no, no long, long tail for me. The two things could be next. We still have some pages left. And so, if I can't have a tail, I'll have a long, long nose. A nose just like an elephant's. The longest nose that grows. I wish I had a long, long nose and I can tell you why. I think it would be very good to get at things up high. Ooh, see what that says? It says cookies. He's getting the cookies down from way up there. Every kid in town would love it. Every kid but Big Bill Brown. And every time I saw him, I would sneeze and blow him down. That's not very polite. Say, I could help the firemen. My nose would be just right. I would help them put out fires a hundred times a night. That would be very handy. Oh, I would do a lot of things that no one ever did, and everyone in town would say, just watch that long-nosed kid. That does look kind of fun on the monkey bars. But if I had a long, long nose, I know what dad would do. My dad would make me wash the car, the house, and windows, too. Ooh, that would be a lot of work. My dad would make me work all day and wash things with that hose. I guess it would not be so good to have a long, long nose. Hmm, what do you think is next? I think there's one or two things yet. Now, let me think about it. All those things I want are bad, and so I wish, I wish, I wish. What do I wish I had? I know what. I know just what. I know just what to do. I wish that I had all those things. I'd be a witch what who. If I could be a witch what who, I'd jump high in the air. I'd splash and spout and run about. I'd give the town a scare. Doesn't he look kind of crazy? Very funny looking. But the people would not like it. They would be so scared, I bet. They would call the town policeman and they would catch me in a net. Uh-oh. They would put me in the zoo house with my horns and nose and feet. And hey, just hey, two times a day is all I'd get to eat. Call it a witch what who. Do you think he likes just hay to eat? I think I would be very sad when people came to call, so I don't think a witch what who would be much fun at all. Oh, he does. He looks very sad. And so I think there are some things I do not wish to be, and that is why I think that I just wish to be like me. The end. <laughs>